So good morning and welcome to a Grassberry Organics tutorial on how we milk. Uh, I'm going to start the morning off by explaining what we use for a fly repellent. Um, this is from Crystal Creek out of Minnesota. Um, they provide a lot of alternatives in the organic world for especially fly repellent. We like the oil-based concentrate, um, mainly eucalyptus oil, peppermint oil, tea tree oil. Um, we use a base as mineral oil. So here at Grassway, we use a backpack sprayer. Um, we really enjoy getting the undercarriage of the cows as well as the top half of the cows. The first step that we do in the morning is dip every single teat with an iodine. We have a green, which I go for go or the beginning, and a red for post, so pre and post. What we do is make sure um, you squeeze the bottle, allow as much iodine into the top half as you can, and then every single cow and every single nipple gets dipped I'm like lavishly, um, it's not too excessively. The second step we use is we use washable towels. Uh, we used to do dry towels and didn't feel that they did a good enough job um, on cleaning the nipple. So every single cow gets a fresh towel. So in doing this as well, I'm a little bit more aggressive because I want to feel like we are a calf or to release uh, the, mammal, the normal chemical called oxytocin, which is found in all mammals or the chemical that makes you happy. And when you do this, you're actually stimulating to make sure to feel like the calf would be here. So our rule of thumb is if it's not clean enough to put your mouth on, it's not clean enough. And in some cases, looks like possibly this cow, we are gonna double dip or dip her twice. After the teeth are cleaned and wiped down, um, here at Grassway, what we will do is do a strip test and we will squeeze either one to two squirts out of each nipple, checking for either mastitis, off color. If someone got hit, you're looking for anything that's off in the way. And she's perfect. So on our claw, our turn on button is down here. We will turn the claw on. Since I'm tall enough and can't see very well, I use my finger to guide. And put the claw off. So once the milk is released from the cow, it's going to come through this tube into our stainless steel piping. This piping is going to go run right through into what we call a sight glass. Now with the sight glass, you can see where the milk is being held. Uh, once there's enough milk in the sight glass, there's a small pump that will pump it into this pump right here, or the milk pump, which will then filter through our sock filter. We'll go right through the sock filter, all the way up this stainless steel pipe. And then, in the industry, the same as the brewing industry, we have a plate chiller. So as soon as the milk comes into the parlor, we have cold water that runs right over the milk, and the milk runs through these plates, and right into our bulk tank. So it instantly cools all the milk to about 50 to 45 degrees, and then the tanks uh, drop it down to the correct temperature of 34 degrees. So in some cases, some cows uh, need to be marked either if they're dry, if they're fresh, or if uh, instantly they're just not using a tit or the tit is dead. In our uh, system, all pink bands means the cow is fresh. For the first three days of milking after calving, uh, we call it colostrum and we don't put colostrum into the tank or mix it in with the other milk. Um, the colostrum is actually end up going into a bucket and saved and that's what the pink bands are for. Green bands are if the nipple is dead 
And if it's on the back of the, uh, if there's one band on the back of the foot of the cow, that means her back uh, tit is not working. And if she has two bands, that means the front tit. So um, orange or red is for dry cows. Uh, currently we're going through our second stage of calves. We calve in the spring and the fall. And any cow with a, a, a band on each foot that is red or orange are, is dry. So they are not being milk -free. So between, one and, between a minute and two minutes, we're going to look at the bottom of the sight glass and you're going to see that there's no milk coming out of Uncle Maddie's mama. So we're going to pull the opposite of what we did, we're going to pull this down so the unit falls off and then we're going to swing it over to Sophia, strip test to make sure she's doing everything so it's good and then right on her. So after the cow is completely milked, uh, we use the same iodine but a heavier uh, consistency. Um, so what we'll do is we'll dip it and in the summer, we dip every single nipple and then we leave the iodine. In winter, when it gets below 15 degrees, then we will wipe it so it doesn't freeze. Uh, but in the summertime, it, you just leave it as it is and that encloses any of the end of the teat that still could be open and makes every sure everything's clean. sprayed down with the big hoses. Uh, we take each individual hose and wash down every single unit. Uh, once the unit is clean, uh, they will be plugged back into the trays. So we take this. Plug this down. This hook here. These are stoppers here. To allow all the water to drain out properly. Um, once all the units are attached, um, we'll run through an automatic cleaning cycle, which does detergent, hot acid, and sanitizer. Um, once that's cleared out, um, then before we milk, usually at four in the morning and four at night, uh, they run a wash through just to make sure um, that it's sanitized and everything's clean before we go. Uh, I want to thank you for watching this episode, and this concludes how we milk at Grassberry Organics. So one requirement for anyone who's milking is to do the dip song. And if anyone's familiar, it goes, when you dip, I dip, we dip. Dip, 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 dip. <laughs> <laughs>